Hey everyone, so I am doing a review and a comparison between my authentic, yes, this is a fake hydrangeas plant from Michaels. So this is the authentic, and then my replica from Nancy. And don't, so let's get started. Okay, for this video, I have the necessary items like my measuring tape. You can see I have my pointer stick, which is uh, Michael's fake hydrangeas flower, and my little friend Gucci Bear. See how cute he is? I added a little pearl to my little Gucci Bear. Okay, so let's get started. Let us go ahead and take out the authentic one. Authentic super mini Mormont Gucci bag. So I purchased this at the store. The authentic boxes do have texturized box. Just want to kind of give you a close look and the printing is a little bit like lifted if you could see that but you can see that the texture of the authentic box is, is different now we are going to check this out okay now i bought this about a couple months ago here is my authentic receipt now this is the usd price that i paid just so for those people are like, ah, oh, it's fake. No, it's not fake. I started off authentic. So again, two months ago, it was, it was about almost three months now is when I started replicas. But this is my authentic one. This is like music care, information, responsibility, authenticity thing. You can see that's what they come with. And then I'll just give you a gist of the price of what I paid for this bag. Okay. Okay, I put on. It came with this black Gucci ribbon. As you can see, this is the authentic. So that is, this is how the authentic ribbon looks. As you can see. And they do come with the little Gucci gel packets. Okay, so that is the box and it's texturized all around the box and it's my boxes have been abused so okay so let's get to the dust bag okay this is the authentic dust bag and as you can see on my whole channel I always show how authentic Gucci only sews the corners as you can see and it's texturized here on the in the dust bag and the dust bag is like a ivory like a really light ivory color so let's take the bag out but let's just focus again on this um if you flip it around the dust bag will have a gucci tag inside so that's how you know authentic ones they come with this gucci um tag inside the dust bag okay and that's how it looks it's a it's a nice little dust bag. It's kind of satiny. Okay, if it's any wider than it's not the real. authentic dust bag, also does have a compartment. If you turn it inside out, there is an open compartment in here, which I never knew and found out through the replica dust bag. So there is an extra hidden pocket area. I guess where you put your chains in, like so. So you got that hidden pocket area. Just dump your chain in there and it protects your bag. So you just do it this way. Let me do it the other way. So you put your bag in like this. And the idea is it protects it. So it's the chain is here, right? The chain is in the pouch. So there is an internal pocket that I had never knew about. Hey. My this is my authentic Mormon Super Mini bag. Okay, I do have the flash on on my iPhone 8 Plus. 
so it is brighter than normal and I, a lot of you know I have the, the Senna from Etsy little insert and I wear this a lot like a waist bag so let me just take this off. <laughs> so this is it. It's the inside. Just take this out. And you see the Gucci sign looks like so. In the back, it's like that. Okay. And it has this for keys, or you also could use it for making your waist bag, making it a waist bag. Okay. So let's do measurements. On First, let me show you. This is the bottom of the bag. This is the back of the bag. And these are the sides. Now I use this a lot. I haven't babied this bag, nor have I babied the boxes, obviously. Um, it's a great quality bag. And we can show the, we can compare the texture of the leather in a bit. So for now, let us measure the bag. This bag is about seven inches and the width. seven inches and then it's about almost almost two inches. The depth of the bag is about eh, three three and a half inches if four. The authentic part of this chain is four inches long. And the authentic chain length is about 50 inches long. And we'll take out, let's try out the replica. Here's the Nancy replica. As you can see, the box is very smooth, okay? It's a good quality box, but it's just way different from the um, the authentic box. Like I know people give their, they favor the authentic, so they'll start knocking, they'll start knocking the replica right away, but that's not what I'm gonna do in this case. What I'm gonna do is give an honest opinion of uh, the replica and the authentic, the comparison. But yeah, so it has this, no, my authentic box does not have this information. Okay. And it's, it's a good quality box. It's just smoother. The, the printing is not like raised, like the authentic one, but there's, this is the Nancy replica box. Okay, so let's see what's inside. This is the replica micro bags. And this is the authentic authenticity stuff. It's larger than than the other one, the authentic one, but I've seen these with like my shoes and larger bags. So the dust bag, it's a dust bag. So the dust bag is is pretty good. Let's get to that. It seems a little smaller than the authentic one, but I'll get into the comparison later. Right now, we'll just look at the details of, the, of Nancy's um, replica bag. And it, this one is is textured, the label, but it is sewn straight across instead of like the authentic one. So let's see, it just, it's like a big hole. Should be like only on the corners. And inside this dust bag, does not have, well that's odd, I never noticed that. Okay, it's just like a, a hidden little pocket thing here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I turned it inside out and there's um, there's no Gucci tag inside. Okay, but there was a little secret pocket <laughs> that I found. Okay, so this is Nancy's replica bag. And I did paint this with um, matte nail polish because it was way too shiny. And I didn't like how shiny it was. Okay, so this is the bottom. The side. 
I've used this a lot, like, because also because it's spring and it's gonna be, it's already summer. Um, it's a nice color for now. Okay, so let's measure on the other side. Let's not measure yet. Let's look at her tag and the code in the back and check out the font. Okay. So now that the bag does measure about seven inches like the other one, the width is about, about a little bit over two inches. And the depth is about almost, you know, almost four inches. And the chain, while attempting to remove the chain, apparently this is, I didn't, really, I didn't notice this, but this one's not removable like the authentic one. So we'll just have to measure it like that. So it goes to a little bit over four inches, right? And the chain is shorter at 40, almost above, a little bit over 48 inches. So with this comparison, I am going to do an honest and non-biased opinion of these two bags. And I've used them both the same. And honestly, there really is no difference between the two, except a little bit of details with the measurements of the chain, um, possibly the internal tag, but the quality I've treated both of, I think I've treated this one, the replica, a lot more rough than I have this one, but I kind of treat both of them pretty badly, <laughs> um, equally too. And I see no difference, except when I wear this as a waist bag, it does like tend to puff out like that a little bit more than, than this one, um, but uses, it's, it's been great for both bags, except this one costs like about 900 something and this cost like under 200. Okay, so let's do a comparison. Look at the leather together. It's hard to tell because, you know, authentic is black and then the Nancy replica is white. But you could kind of see that the texture is a little different. Like the Nancy one is a little more pebbled kind of looks and then the authentic, the black one, is a little bit more buttery, I want to say, um, for that view. And then for this view, it's the same. The leather, the good thing all leather all around and Nancy uses as a replica is the white one. The same texture, it would be weird if she sort of stuck. Here are the hearts. Okay. It's different colors, so this is the authentic, this is the replica. It still looks really good. You can see the stitching. Maybe you guys noticed something. Oh, I noticed something. Like the little triangle on the bottom. This is a little smaller than the authentic. Okay. And let's look at the top. That's how the top looks. Um, I did put matte nail polish on the white replica bag just because it was ridiculously too shiny for me and I didn't like it that shiny. So I did put a coat of matte clear nail polish. Okay. Give you a little bit more of time to look at how they And then the hardware here. Let's see the drop. The replica is slightly off. You can see that. And the tech is on the right. Replica's on the left, as you can see. And there's peppermint. Okay, so. There's a difference with the chains. Is the super mini replica, and this is authentic. So the inside, you can tell that this fabric is lighter than this, but the texture is of same quality. And this does have a tag here. 
the Gucci black tape. This one does not. The authentic one does not. So replica to the left and um, to the right is the authentic. You can see the difference. Big top replica, Nancy. So that's pretty much my review on my Marmont Gucci Super Mini Bag, authentic, and my replica from Nancy. Now, I overstuffed this a lot, um, so I can fit a little more on that, and it's probably stretched, as the other one, um, peppermint, the other one, this, the authentic, I don't overstuff. So this one is kind of stretched out a little bit because I know I could like fit more where this one is is like not overstuffed. So like if I try to fit my phone or my uh, phone in a wallet, it will not close unless I force it and I don't want to. But this one I've abused more because I know it's a replica. Um, it is a little bit more fatter and can hold a little bit more because I stretched it. Yeah, so I hope you found this educational and I'm starting new with my little knowledge base of stuff. And yeah, anything you wanna say, Peppo? No? Okay, she's just waiting for me to go to the room so she can